So tell me about uh, this show. Uh, my biggest question is why? Why? <laughs> Uh, that's a great question. Thank you. Why do I keep going back to, uh, this <laughs> yeah. is my fifth challenge. And um, that is shocking to me. I think after one, I don't know that I would still be alive, first <laughs> of all. But secondly, I just, uh, is it entertaining for you? Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's absolutely pushing your limits to, to the extreme. Uh, every time that I do it, I feel like I'm having a once in a lifetime experience. And uh, I've never felt more alive when I do these, these challenges. So let's talk about the challenges for people who have not seen the show before, uh, prior to this one. Let's not talk about this one just yet, but right. the previous challenges that you've done, what sorts of things have you done? Um, the, the first challenge I did was uh, 21 days in the Everglades. Uh, I was a man and a woman. Um, Got to survive three weeks with uh, one survival item. Are you naked the whole time? We were naked the whole time, and that, that's what really drew me to the, the, the challenge itself. The, the being naked drew you to the challenge? The, 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 the authenticity behind it. It's completely authentic. The it's, being it's... naked drew you to the challenge? <laughs> that too. Absolutely. Wow. I can't think of a time where I've been naked I haven't been afraid, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, what do you do in the Everglades, or what did you do in the Everglades? Um, I hunted everything I could down there, built shelter, water, fire and uh, harvested a six foot alligator, which I carry his uh, tooth right here around my, my tinder pouch. Wow. Harvest, you know, there's a difference between harvesting and killing sure. something. Yeah, yeah. When you harvest something, you use every piece of it. and I've you know, not use seen it. an alligator in person before. <laughs> have you seen an alligator in person? I have, yes, I live in Florida for a while. Does that make you terrified? I wouldn't want to do what you do. <laughs> that no. take I mean, to the extreme. They're cool from afar, yeah. but that's, that's it. Uh, and this current version, you were in Louisiana, correct? Yeah, six, this one's a 60-day challenge. I did a 21-day, I did a 40-day challenge. Naked and Afraid of Sharks, Naked and Afraid Alone, and then this one is Naked and Afraid Legends, and it's a 60-day, two months in the bayou. What sort of stuff do you encounter in the bayou? Uh, much bigger alligators, more alligators, <laughs> bigger alligators. Um, uh, Nutria, it's uh, an invasive sort of um, large rodent species, 20, 25 pound looking rat species. Sure. Um, armadillo, possum, um, uh, boar, and deer mostly. Uh, those are the big, the, the big um, you know, menu that we had down there. All of that terrifies <laughs> me. Like there's yeah. not one piece of that that doesn't terrify me. And then venomous snakes, you know, and some of those other things. Oh, well, those are, are okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you've done uh, plenty of um, adventure adventurous things in the past. You, you did the entire Appalachian Trail, and that yep. sort of led you to uh, what you're doing today, uh, which is the Human Nature Hostel. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, so I served eight years in the Marine Corps. After I got out of the service, I went straight to the Appalachian Trail, hiked 2,200 miles uh, from Georgia all the way home, kind of walking off the war, hiking home. And then on that, on that uh, journey, I had this vision to build a nature retreat center, hostel, and buy land and do it in my home state. Uh, two months after I finished hiking, I closed on 42 acres of land. I mean, I was looking for 10 to 15, and 42 came, <laughs> came, came out of nowhere. Uh, I think just because the, the project and the vision has grown since then that I'm going to need that amount of land. Um, but it's the Human Nature Hostel and Wilderness Guide Service. Um, I do recreational um, and wilderness guided retreats. Uh, sur I teach survival and bushcraft, everything that you've seen me do um, on, the, on these challenges and these shows. And, I went to a year-long survival and bushcraft school up in northern Maine called the Jack Mountain Bushcraft School. So I, I've got all the knowledge and skills and experience, and I've built a facility where I get to share everything um, that I know, all my experiences, and uh, you know, created a space for people to come and have their own um, you know, connection back in nature, reconnecting humans in nature at my, yeah. at my, at my facility. That sounds, uh, that sounds like a, a lot of fun. It also sounds like it can push people's limits depending on what their comfort level is. Yeah. Uh, what sort of uh, clientele do you normally see? Is it, is it people who are sort of trained in this sort of stuff and looking for the uh, next no, step? No, the stuff that I have designed, uh, the, the classes and programs and retreats I've designed are, are for beginners. We don't know each other really at all. No, we've never but met you're, you're, an, you're an expert. Um, <laughs> If in, I stumbled, in some areas. well, yeah. if I stumbled across a boar, am I going to make it out alive or no? Uh, maybe not. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't test your chances. <laughs> Boars are actually one of the, one of the more dangerous ones that I, I would rather go after an alligator than a boar. Really? What yeah. do you do if you run into a boar? <laughs> like, you know, you, you got thirty seconds to tell me what uh, do you yeah, do? I get up in a tree. Yeah. If it's got, if it's a boar, no, like tusks and everything, yeah, you you definitely want to get up in a tree and get some get some elevation above that thing. Okay, I can't <laughs> climb trees. So what's my next option? Uh, <laughs> Just get naked pray. and afraid. <laughs> pray. Here, uh, boar, take my stuff. It's a little stinky. Um, the